In this video, I'm going to show you how to create your own travel altar. Travel altars are a wonderful way to center yourself and access your magic no matter where life takes you. My name is Serena Moon and I'm a magical teacher here at Simple Mystic Miracles. Travel altars or pocket altars are a great way to practice your magic and create sacred space if you are traveling or on the go. You can use them in your car, in your office, in your hotel, or if you are between homes and don't really have a sacred space of your own yet. They are also wonderful tools to use if you are in the broom closet and prefer not to have an altar that is on display for others to see. Travel altars are simple to create and they provide a wonderful way to access your spirituality and create your own sacred space anytime and anywhere you like. Step one to create your travel altar is to choose a container to hold a variety of small altar items in. I'm using a plain small tin box, but many people use Altoid boxes or other mint boxes for their travel altars. You can also use a small bag or pouch as long as it closes tight to keep all of your items safely tucked inside. I personally prefer to use a, a small hard box as that way my items stay safe inside when my travel altar is on the move with me. Step two, once you have your altar container picked out, now it is time to decorate it and make it your own. An easy way to do this is to print pictures you like off the internet, cut them and glue them directly onto the insides and cover of your altar. You can also paint your altar or draw on it. I love to draw sigils on mine or images of the moon. I love the moon and so for this travel altar, I decided to print out lunar themed imagery and an image of the triple goddess. After gluing images to the top and bottom of the inside of my altar, I glued a sticker of the moon to the top. Voila, my travel altar is complete. Decorate your travel altar in a way that connects you deeply to your own sacred spirituality and make it entirely your own. The more individual it is to you, the more of a powerful and sacred altar it will be for you. Step three, now that your altar is decorated, it is time to pack it with your tiny sacred altar items. Feel free to put in any altar items that have meaning to you or that you feel you would use the most. For my altar, I wanted to put in a variety of items that reflect the four elements, air, earth, water, and fire. I also wanted to be sure I put in a few items that allow me to do both spell work and divination when I'm on the road. To begin, I put in a small box of matches. I found this tiny box of fairy matches at a mystical store in Solvang, California, and they fit perfectly in my little pocket altar. Next, I put in a small tea light candle so that I can do spells anytime I need to while traveling. Then I put in a small pendulum so that I can do divination anytime I need while I'm on the road. Next, I put in a small cone of incense. This is sandalwood incense and the smell instantly connects me to my spirit. It also works to cleanse the energy around me whenever I do spell work. Next, I put in a small quartz crystal for grounding while I'm on the road. This crystal also represents earth energy. Next, I put in a tiny little abalone shell as it represents the ocean and the element of water. I also put in a small container of sea salt. I love to use sea salt for energy protection when I travel, and I find it really comes in handy to have with me wherever I go. Next, I put in a small lucky charm that has special meaning to me. Then I put in a feather. The feather represents air energy to me and reminds me to embrace a lightness of being no matter where I am. Finally, I added a bay leaf. Bay leaves are great for spells for release. I love to burn them and let things just go. So I figured it would be great to bring one with me on my travels. Once all of your items are packed securely in your box, you can see that you can move your box around, shake it up, and your sacred items are held securely and safe inside. Step four. Before I take my travel altar on the road, I like to give it a little blessing. I burn some sacred smoke such as Palo Santo and simply cleanse my altar in the smoke. Then I like to say a little blessing and focus my intent onto my altar. I say something like, 
Thank you, tiny altar, for offering me big magic no matter where I go. I charge you with the love in my heart, and I thank you in advance for your protection, your guidance, and grounded place of sanctuary no matter where I find myself. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So mote it be. Step five, use your altar. Now that your altar is ready, you can take it with you anywhere you like. To use it, simply find a quiet space of choice and set it up. I take out all of my ingredients. I take them out one by one carefully. Then I like to place my altar upward vertically so that it creates almost a little sacred shield of energy around my items. I then light my candle and then I like to light my incense and use it to cleanse my sacred space as I center myself and ground my energy for ritual. Next, I might do a bit of divination or go right into a spell, a meditation, or a ritual incorporating any of my sacred items that I have packed into my pocket altar. Perhaps I will do a spell for release and burn my bay leaf, or perhaps create a salt circle of protection and create protection or love amulet. There are so many possibilities when you pack a variety of small items that have sacred meaning to you. It is incredible how such a small altar can feel so big and so powerful. I completely forget that I'm not at my big altar at home when I use my little travel altar. There is just so much power and so much magic imbued within its tiny walls. Use your travel altar anywhere you go and anytime you need your own sacred, magical space. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and click on the link below to our blog where you can learn so much more about altars, spells, rituals, and all things magic.